Okay, if you've ever had this particular issue within a router and uh, you found the IP address, IP subnet mask, gateway IP address, DNS uh, are there with the dashes and you've reconnected everything, this will be because you're disconnected online, could be power failure, could be a, a inability for the equipment to function and you want to test and check everything you also notice the modem is negotiating and there's a couple of things you can do first of all you can check your connection status um, could be that uh, the uh, system has just had a slight problem one or two problems in the puzzle you'll see here that the uh, connection to the server is connected and there's success with negotiation and authentication if there is no connection, this will not say that, and authentication will not say success. So these things can happen. Um, you'll also notice your green lights will uh, double flash. I've disconnected this to actually test it. Um, the system I with has a VPI of 0 and a VCI of 38. This is something that if you're talking to a first or second line support they'll ask you about. There's two two small issues there that you may well come across with a disconnected or, or a problem online. You may well find that these issues come up. So we're now going to look at the uh, logs, see if we have any logs, and you can see here that we have logs, and you can actually read this information out to see how uh, what's actually happening with your system, and it'll give you times. The beauty of this is we can also uh, email if required. We can actually send the log through to relevant parties. I've also set it up in this particular instance for the startup uh, and DOS support time scans. We can also see the broadcasts of on the LAN. That's when the uh, information is being sent out. So those are the bits of information that you can actually see. So that's the VT, the ADSL section. I'm just going to pause briefly. As you can see, I've reconnected the system and everything's functioning. You can now see the IP address, the IP subnet mask, the gateway IP address. All the details are have returned to the system. We can see the domain name server, the DNS, and uh, addresses there uh, are all functional and back on. So we now know that the whole system is in actual fact functioning. So that's a little bit of information on, on what you can see there. The statistics, well, the statistics actually has uh, some interesting information there as well. We can see here the fact that we have packets of data being transmitted and received. And we can actually see the... Um, LAN and the one in action. If you've got no internet access, the PP over A will not have those details there. So if you're talking to first or second line support, this information is something that uh, may be of some interest. You could alter the testing times for those connections here, uh, and all this information will also be timed. You can see the up and the down time there, so you can actually see the data being transferred and received. You obviously have the option to stop that information as as well. So there's a whole series of bits of information there.